So episode 21 of Fruits Basket came out yesterday, and overall I thought this was a really, really good episode. The flashback episodes are always really strong, and the backstory that they uncover always does wonders for character development and overall story progression. It helps so much in explaining why certain characters act in certain ways, and how their experiences have shaped them into the person that we saw when they were first introduced. I think the only negative I have once again is due to the hyper focus on Yuki's story. I love seeing it play out, but I just can't shake this fear that he'll run out of story eventually and be left twiddling his thumbs in the background until the finale of Season 3. Considering how quickly he's becoming my favourite character, I'd be really disappointed if that was the case. But aside from that small fear, the episode really delivered, and even further developed Yuki's character, further examining his complicated relationships with a number of the Somas, and finally shining a light on the nature of his relationship with Toru. One of the more interesting revelations the episode brought is that Akito wasn't always so cruel and deranged. When they first met, he was kind to Yuki, and whilst he threw tantrums, they weren't of the same nature as the kind he'd throw as he got older. The two became inseparable playmates, as the rats considered the most important zodiac next to the god, which is why his parents basically abandoned him. It gave them a better life. Obviously, good things don't last though, and eventually Akito snapped and became the cruel and deranged character that we know now. I found this to be really, really good character building, and it kind of makes Akito's character feel more real. Like he wasn't always just some psychotic evil caricature, but that he used to be a more normal, if still a bit selfish and childish, person. Obviously, we don't have the full picture of this storyline yet, and I'm guessing that eventually we're going to see the event that made Akito snap and turn into the monster that we regularly see. I also like the link back to the last episode where Yuki was locked in the dark closet with the black paint spilled everywhere. It made him feel uneasy, and that ties into the fact that when Akito began to become dark and cruel, he shut off all the lights in the room and splashed black paint everywhere. We see that despite being the second most important Zodiac, he'd essentially been isolated from the rest. He hadn't spoken to them before, not even to his brother. He was essentially in the role that Kurino's in now. And it was especially sad that he tried to reach out and become friends with Kyo, who was also isolated from the others. But he was rejected and yelled at, looked at with hatred. And this was his reality for years. Alone, unloved, and ignored by almost everybody. I think the saddest part of this episode, though, was when he finally made some friends at his school. He finally had people that he could play with and spend time with, who didn't think he was a tool to use or that he was worthless. But then his secret was revealed and their memories were erased, basically setting him up to be the character we know at the start of Season 1. Isolated, friendless, and alone. Drawing back from his class because he doesn't want to get hurt again. We also saw that Akito was actively trying to isolate him from the other Zodiacs, telling him Kyo wants to kill him and that Hatsuharu hates him because he's worthless and should disappear. And then this led into Yuki's first meeting with Toru that had been teased since before the beach arc. The scene where she gets the blue hat from him. We see Kyoko desperately yelling at police, talking about how her daughter's missing and very much acting like Kyo while she does so. And then Yuki manages to find Toru and lead her back to her mother before giving her the hat. He then falls ill again from the strain and turns into his rat form when he's out of their sight. It's revealed that his meeting with Toru made him want to persevere and hope that it could get better, but he says that it didn't work at first and he became twisted, that he doesn't really hate Kyo or envy him, he just wants to be his friend. But when Toru came back into his life, she started to help him and heal him, like a mother would. Finally, finally after all this time, he said it out loud. And that also gives me the hope that he and Kyo can be friends. Kyo just has to sort himself out as well. This was such a good episode though, one of the best of the season, so I'm not sure next week can top it, but I'm still keen to see what happens. But anyway, now I want to hear what you guys think. Did you like the episode? Did anything surprise you? Did you get the feels? Let me know.